the final item of business today is a member's business debate on motion number 13316 in the name of Angus Macdonald on the 10th anniversary of the Gaelic Language Scotland Act 2005. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put and members will be aware that there is a Gaelic translation service for this debate as previously intimated by the presiding officer. Headsets have been placed on desks and the service can be found on audio channel 2, member channel 2. Would those members who wish to speak in the debate please press the request to speak buttons now or as soon as possible. And Mr Macdonald, if you are ready, um, if you would like to open the debate uh, seven minutes or thereby, please. Moran Tang, Offager, Rialai, Hami Air, Mogoi Glan, and Coram, Shaw, Ian Gus, and Jespat, Shaw Horst, No Hjomor, Jespatch, No Parliament, Agus Buvalum, Tang, A Horst, Ganabulin, Shin Akur, and Anjuman Rish and Glusad, Akorakach, Jech Bliana, Jegach Nagalik, Alikil and Jespat, Shaw, Ahumal, and Jew. Ha in Jisbat, Shaw Kudramach, Er Skaskum Fame, Shin Gianev, Kintuch, Mar Farlamach, Agus Marialtas, Gabri J, Arpartian Politiguch, Gum Begalic, Gabrian, Agus Gaklekuk, On An Alaba, Agus Guvel Shin, and Jalav Akuch, Om Rishek Shisvach, Gangalic. Gumi Ortachanach, Femi and Tundai, Er Ashkin Vyurla, Shemu Lishkul, Gur Etoni, Ahunum Ashornavag, Vuhus Agus Haish Iskintach, Nakel Gallic Ho, Ma Ek Coves Stornavag. As I've just said, hopefully, this debate is important because we have to ensure as a parliament that a, and a government of whatever political colour, eh, that Gaelic continues to be spoken and used in Scotland and that we create a sustainable future for the Gaelic language. So we're here this evening to highlight the good work ongoing to stem the decline in our indigenous and precious language and to celebrate 10 years since the Gaelic Language, Bill, eh, Gaelic, Gaelic language Scotland Bill secured royal assent. Not only did the Act establish Bordna Gaelic as uh, the public body responsible for the preservation of Gaelic, but affirmed Gaelic as an official language of Scotland, enjoying equal respect to that of English. Sadly, that equal respect isn't always evident, but I have been impressed by action taken by a number of public bodies and the efforts they've taken to promote Gaelic, a language that's dear to all, or at least most, of our hearts. Uh, now, of course, I've been a strong supporter of Gaelic all my life, uh, with both my grandfather speaking Gaelic and being taught it as early as Primary 1 in Sandwick Hill Primary School, just outside Stornoway. Uh, sadly, it, it hasn't had the desired effect, and to my shame, as a Lyosach, uh, I'm not fluent in the language of my ancestors, although I do hope to sort that uh, at some point in the hopefully not-too-distant future, although I have to admit I have been promising that for a while. Um, I've been supportive of the language all my political life too eh, and successfully managed to attract the Royal National Mod to Falkirk in 2008 and as the convener of the local organising committee I had hoped to leave a lasting legacy for Gaelic in Falkirk District and I'm glad to say that Falkirk Gaelic Forum has carried that work and vision forward. Eh, in Falkirk for example the Scottish Government provides a specific grant for Gaelic and there is an offer from the Scottish Government to discuss the potential of capital for any project support they may identify. Falkirk Council also has actively embraced the Gaelic language in the primary schools GLPS programme. 25% of Falkirk Council primary schools deliver GLPS and a total of 26 members of staff will have been trained to deliver the GLPS programme by the end of March 2016. And while there's no Gaelic medium education school in Falkirk District, the Council support all applications and provide free transport allowing pupils to attend GME out with the authority, usually to neighbouring GME schools in Stirling and North Lanarkshire. Falkirk's Gaelic language plan is monitored by the Falkirk Council Officers Group and Falkirk Community Group with input from FASH 4 and CLASS and Coman, Falkirk Junior Gaelic Choir and Falkirk Gaelic Forum. And the group's track record uh, track the, pro the progress of the plan and suggest the action uh, 
that is required to, to, to further develop the language. Uh, Falkirk Council is one of 40 public authorities that have had Gaelic plans agreed by Borden of Gaelic, and while Falkirk's Gaelic language plan has sadly already missed some of its targets, I'm hopeful it will catch up uh, with a, a, a bit of encouragement from uh, the, the, the forum. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that within the past week or so, a Gaelic development officer has been appointed in a joint project between Falkirk Council and Falkirk Gaelic Forum, which will allow further language and cultural development of Gaelic to be delivered throughout nurseries and schools, deliver staff training, carry out a feasibility study for GME, and create a greater profile of Gaelic within the Falkirk area. So it's an extremely heartening development. So there's plenty of good work going on locally uh, in my area in Falkirk District. Nationally, we're well over halfway through the National Gaelic Language Plan 2012 to 2017, which places strong focus on the role that Gaelic medium education has to play uh, in future years to increase the number of young Gaelic speakers in Scotland to ensure the language has a sustainable and vibrant future. And of course, um, uh, the use of Gaelic in the home and the community is uh, a strong element of that. The 2011 census figures provided positive news with regard to Gaelic in Scotland. The statistics showed an overall trend where the number of Gaelic speakers had more or less stabilised in comparison with figures for the 2001 uh, census. As the stats show, there are currently 57,000 Gaelic speakers in Scotland, with an excess of 90,000 uh, with some ability of the language. The results also showed that there had been a small increase in the number of people under 20 who could speak Gaelic, with over 14,000 children between the age of 5 and 18 learning the language at different levels across Scotland each week. Now, one aspect of Gaelic which isn't broadcast enough are the economic and social benefits. A recent joint agency research project published last year looked at the ways in which Gaelic is currently being used to deliver economic and social benefits to businesses, social enterprises and communities, and how its impact can be maximised. Uh, entitled uh, Our Storish Gaelic, uh, or Our Gaelic Resource, the report demonstrated how the language is currently being used to add value to a wide variety of circumstances and highlights its considerable potential to bring further benefits to businesses, communities and individuals. Almost 70% of businesses consulted said that Gaelic is an asset to their activities. More than half of businesses, uh, 60%, and 85% of community organisations who responded to the survey stated that Gaelic features as a key element of their work. From this result, they calculated that the potential economic value of Gaelic as an asset to the wider Scottish economy could be up to £148.5 million a year. The findings of the research demonstrate emphatically that investment from the Scottish Government to Gaelic translates into significant economic contribution, not just in the Highlands and Islands, but also in the central belt of Scotland. Uh, and I think it's worth noting that when the mod was in Falkirk in 2008, it attracted £1.5 million to the local economy, just when the economy was struggling with the economic downturn. And figures for last year's mod uh, show it took in over £3 million to the local economy in Inverness. So previous studies have shown that relative to its size, the Gaelic community punches well above its weight in its contribution in a range of sectors. Uh, loyalty to language and culture is a powerful, more motivating force, and it's encouraging to see the growing support for Gaelic at grassroots and institutional levels, and the economic as well as social, cultural and linguistic benefits that accrue from the concerted action we're seeing developed. With these figures, presiding officer, there is hope for our precious indigenous language, but only if we all work to ensure its survival and growth. I'm committed to playing my part. I hope everyone else is too. One time. Many thanks. I now call on Michael Russell to be followed by Lewis MacDonald. Four minutes or thereby, please. Officeralig hamia kuz falche elonis donaloch esan an dias bet shaw a kuz er doi agus hami fia tolleche pasta girl own agus guzna jek kian bliana igach nagalik a koromachet. Sen kum kutra makirast avans anacht a kab. A habu corgon, a vi dirac a coig er ash and you, a cavi a coid er ashed kuchak. Cornas here er in Gaelic and you, never ore must row an ach own. A clumber barrack, the yenov, the Mahagalic, who be chesvach, Elson a genialach, the chin, a gusgun ched akin, a rad gufirinich, gur e duik, tri guig, a hasha, while high a curd and kel, an andone in Machagovin. 
ac fosgulag in the Parliament Albanach Shaw. Presiding officer, I congratulate Angus MacDonald on securing this debate. I warmly welcome the chance to contribute and to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Gaelic Language Act. That act was a good step forward, but we should not only look back, but we should also look ahead. Gaelic is in a better condition today than it was before the Act, but more must be done if we are to secure Gaelic for future generations and assert with truth that this is a three-voice nation, as a poem by Ian Crichton Smith asserted at the opening of this Scottish Parliament. But of course, that's just three voices. English, Gaelic and Scots may be uniquely ours, and I include English presiding officer because T.S. Eliot once contended that the only place that English was spoken properly was Richmond, Virginia and Edinburgh, but there are now other voices to be heard in our land. Our first obligation is to the languages which belong to us. It will be our fault and nobody else's if Gaelic does not survive. And it is possible to countenance such an outcome. Languages do die every year in our world. The present Scottish Government has halted the precipitate decline over the last century, but we are perilously close still to the cliff edge. And it's the cliff edge presiding office of an increasingly elderly population for whom Gaelic is their first language and a younger population which sometimes does not value what it has inherited. So whilst we should be glad of and celebrate and support all the work that has gone on to get us to the stage, there is much more to do. We need to create a new generation of Gaelic speakers and our education system will not yet do that. We certainly need more Gaelic medium schools, but we also need a substantial expansion in opportunities for adult learners. And we need to create some places and spaces where Gaelic is not optional or desirable, but essential. Now, there have been ideas of how that might be done over the years, but those proposals now need urgent attention and action. I know the Minister is more than sympathetic to this cause. He is an example to us all, a Gaelic learner who is fluent, a Scots speaker who wrote his thesis in the language. He is truly three-voiced. But he also knows he's the exception. And if we are to grow languages, as the government to its credit is trying to do, then we will need resources and commitment for the long term and for those, the rest of us, who are not exceptions. We also need to move on in legislative terms. My own Gaelic Act, Language Act in 2002, the first Gaelic Language Act, was introduced out of desperation at the failure of the first Scottish Government to honour its promises. It was voted down by that coalition so that it could introduce its own legislation, which to its credit it did in the second term. But that was always seen as a start, not a conclusion. We now need to consider a wider piece of language legislation that encompasses the many voice nation we have become, which also strengthens our commitment to our two indigenous languages and focuses our resources where they are needed most to make Gaelic survive. That's a challenge we should all rise to, perhaps in the next session of the Parliament, because there is still much to be done. Many thanks. I now call on Lewis MacDonald to be followed by Mary Scanlon. Tapalif, Nelda Nayak and Anish MacDonald, our son and Jesper Shaw, Achur Rikhele. Hami Genviak, Gershina Jaish, Gina Chaydunia, Aunt Nachilikin Akinhain, Aha Rurla, Avrian, Marchiot Cannon. Agus, Gurvel and Jaish Akin, Akiri Jenaf Kunjak, Gumbi Kuach, Ekna Dunia, Aunt Zanaumri, Jach Gus Gaelic Avrian. The Gaelic Language Scotland Act was brought forward by the Scottish Executive in which I served 10 years ago. The land, the language, and the people of the Gaeltacht have always mattered a great deal to my party, Scottish Labour, and for me, that act is one of the things we created this Parliament in order to bring about. The act affirmed Gaelic as an official language of Scotland and created Borna Gaelic to sustain that status for the future. The Board has enjoyed cross-party support throughout these last 10 years, and I am confident that will continue in the future. But political goodwill on its own is not enough. For Gaelic to contribute to our future as well as our past will require people to speak it and children to learn it as a first language. It will require visible and audible commitments from public bodies across Scotland to its official status. And it will require Gaelic to continue to, as a language of music and the media, of culture and creativity, as well as of home and school. 
That is why Gaelic language plans are so important, not just in the Highlands and Islands and the Central Belt, but in the northeast of Scotland too. Aberdeen City Council has been considering its Gaelic language plan today, following the adoption of similar plans by the University of Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire Council and the Cairngorms National Park. Though councillors, of course, have to be comfortable with the plan, Scotland's third city must not fall too far behind Glasgow and Edinburgh in providing leadership in delivering public policy on language and culture uh, in our cities with cross-party support. Aberdeen is, after all, the city with the highest proportion of citizens born out with these islands altogether. As a multilingual, multicultural city, Aberdeen should be second to none in recognising and celebrating its own cultural diversity. A good deal is already going on there in schools, as I know from my own family. My daughter Iona sat at her higher Gaelic a few weeks ago, having been taught through the medium of Gaelic at nursery and primary school since the age of two. She has spent most of her 17 years learning and speaking the Gaelic language, and incidentally her skills in the English language are all the better as a result. But Aberdeen, like other places, needs a step change in the scale of Gaelic medium activity in schools, in cultural activities and in language learning. That is why the city's Gaelic language plan needs to be delivered sooner rather than later. It is also important that more is done to enable children and young people to study Gaelic without losing access to other modern languages, not just in Aberdeen, but across the country. A bilingual education equips children brilliantly to add further languages as they progress through school. But in practice, many pupils choosing to keep up their Gaelic at secondary school then have little opportunity to learn other modern languages until they reach S6. I hope the Minister can say what more the Government will do to increase the uptake of all modern languages in view of the falls recorded in the last school year at the level of National Fives. So a great deal has been achieved in the last decade since the Act was passed, but there remains a great deal still to do. And like the other speakers, I look forward to an ever higher profile for Gaelic language and culture in Aberdeen and across Scotland in the future. More than time. And many thanks. I now call on Mary Scanlon to be followed by Jean Urquhart. Four minutes or thereby, please. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I, I join in supporting the motion and its sentiment, and I would like to thank Angus MacDonald for securing this debate and giving us the opportunity uh, to discuss Gaelic. Uh, the collective efforts to ensure the preservation of Gaelic appear to be bearing fruit, but as we will all agree, there is still much more to do. Uh, like others in the Chamber, I remember the passing of the Gaelic Act, and what I remember mostly about it uh, was John Farker Monroe and Alistair Morrison, and uh, I always felt for the two of them, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn, but English seemed to be a second language. They were very, very familiar uh, with the Gaelic brought up as native Gaelic speakers. Uh, but like Lewis MacDonald and uh, indeed uh, Angus MacDonald, uh, my mother was brought up with English as her second language, uh, being brought up in Ranafast and Dunlow in Donegal, an area familiar to Willie Coffey. And uh, so I am the first in my mother's side of the family uh, to speak English as our first language. But they never called it the Gaelic, they didn't call it the Gaelic, it was indeed Irish. So they spoke, and they still speak, Irish or English. Uh, I welcome the considerable improvements towards reversing the decline of the Gaelic language, along with the economic benefits of the culture that uh, so much was said by Angus in his opening uh, statement, uh, but also by, found by Highlands and Islands Enterprise. It's worth putting on record that, that it's also Borna Gaelic's 10th anniversary as the body responsible for the promotion of the Gaelic culture and language. Uh, Gaelic is an integral part of the history and traditions of the Highlands and Islands, but also across Scotland. Uh, the Scottish Social Attitudes Study found in 2012 that 76% of those surveyed viewed Gaelic as important to our heritage and culture, and 81% wished there to be at least as many Gaelic speakers uh, as there is now in 50 years' time. However, only 45% expected this to be the case. So the improvements in Gaelic education and promotion uh, must continue to help confound this fairly pessimistic prediction. 
Uh, the Conservatives, I think we can all claim success, Labour Lib Dems, the SNP, but the Conservatives uh, also contributed to the Gaelic culture and language uh, for many years during the 90s, establishing the first Gaelic medium uh, unit in a school in Lewis uh, in 86. In fact, the precursor to BBC Alba, Gaelic Television, uh, was established by the Scottish Secretary in 1990 expanded further in 96 to include radio broadcasting. So I think we can all take a bit of credit, but we can also say there's still much more to do. But one of the success stories in Scottish education over the past 30 years has been the expansion of Gaelic education, with the number of children in Gaelic medium education rising from 24 uh, with the establishment of the Gaelic Medium Unit at Breesklitch uh, uh, School in 1986 to over 3,500 last year. Uh, and since the beginning of the National Gaelic Language Plan, we've seen the number of pupils rise by nearly a quarter and the number of pupils in Gaelic learner classes up by 12% since 2001. But just to finish, presiding officer, uh, and I think this is a, 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 I don't mean to be party political here, but I think it has to be mentioned. The 2011 SNP manifesto stated the intention to examine how we can introduce an entitlement to Gaelic medium education. And fair dues, that's exactly what they said. But as a member of the Education Committee, it's worth noting that the upcoming Education Bill does not give an entitlement to Gaelic education, but a fairly lukewarm duty on education authorities to assess the need for Gaelic medium primary education following a parental request and a further duty to actively promote and support Gaelic medium education. So it falls well short of an entitlement. But that said, I very much welcome the progress, I welcome the debate, and I hope for another successful 10 years. So, J.K. Colabri Sona. I think that's happy 10th birthday. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. I'm now calling Jean Urquhart to be followed by Dave Thompson. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer, and I too congratulate Angus MacDonald in bringing this important debate to the Chamber. And I'm sorry that I'm unable to speak in one of Scotland's other languages in this debate. Surely there can be little doubt of the value of the Gaelic language, given the number of economic, cultural and, other, and any number of other consultations that were carried out in recent decades, perhaps culminating, we might have hoped, in the Gaelic Language Scotland Act now ten years ago. All that has been achieved has been across all of the political parties and none. And those lobbying for recognition and promotion of the language have done well in achieving that. It seems to me now that we don't need more Gaelic language plans or consultations or more evidence or further justification for language development. We now need to promote the worth of the language as people are establishing here tonight and the opportunities that it provides. That could be opportunities, as Angus MacDonald has already highlighted, in terms of the new Gaelic economy, or opportunities in preschool and primary school education for both children and teachers. When learning a language in school, let's say French, children are never uh, taught only about the country, or on a, uh, never taught on a word-for-word -word basis, but instead learn about France, the country, its people, history, geography, food, industry, produce, culture, and presiding officer, so it is with Gaelic. For many of the children attending primary schools in the Highlands and Islands, the region that I represent, are from across the UK and the rest of Europe. They're putting roots down and learning so much more than just the language. And although their granny may be in Manchester or Shetland, they are, through the indigenous language of the Giltacht, Giltacht, confidently establishing their roots in the local community. Presiding officer, it used to be in times past that parents talked in Gaelic when they didn't want their children to know what they were talking about. And that's reversed in many households across the Highlands and Islands today, where children talk in Gaelic when they don't, know what, when they don't want their parents to know what they're talking about. I do have to mention the lobby against the investment in Gaelic, whether education or road signs, 
And I believe that it's incumbent on all members of this place to challenge that opposition and to make the positive case that has evolved since the introduction of the Act. But now that we are where we are, I also call on the Gaelic-speaking community to show its appreciation of and support for Scotland's other languages. The Chamber recently was united in welcoming Scotland's culturally diverse communities, but I think we have to show the same commitment in recognising how culturally diverse Scotland herself really is, and to show, to highlight, the worth of Scots language, of Lalands, of Doric, of, of, of so-called dialects, although I would argue that these are merely dialects. Anyone speaking in strong Doric or Shetland, or Shetland uh, uh, certainly appears to have a language of their own, and we must celebrate that. And I have sympathy for Angus MacDonald's as yet still unfulfilled ambition to become fluent in the Gaelic language, and I have promised myself on several occasions to do the same. But finally, presiding officer, I would uh, like to, and Mary uh, has already highlighted uh, the, the difference between the SNP, uh, the Scottish National Party Manifesto. I stood on the manifesto uh, in 2011, which did say that we would export, uh, support expansion of Gaelic medium education, and I quote, where reasonable demand exists, and the 2007 manifesto, which said we will guarantee in law the right to Gaelic medium education. Now, there may be practical reasons for that change, but I would ask the Minister and the Scottish Government to review uh, that difference and to show, and continue to show, as they have done, that Scotland must, needs and must, recognise the worth of the Gaelic language for all of these reasons. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And thank you. And I now call on Dave Thompson to be followed by John Finney. Tapleiv Ophaca Reilly, Melanieker Innes Donloch, and Glossacha Hur Erbelev na Parliament. A mitolic Jech Blena on a Hanak, Ach Nagalic, Guvi, a Horachig. Buchorer Yachig Er Bui, Ach Nagalic, Le Prosch. Ach le sul kuchokt er maragag en tulig nerstigi a horst der suigig ne galig. Huk en acht geen bunich er sun spes ko junen risiveerle a horst on galig. Huk i geen boor ne galig le dlestenis plan en asen te galig a jesigig. A stegig Slay er ar er erst donhanen. He kit ek word eri er bunyen poplich planich in Gaelic a chur en grief. He immigrut fimmel er tachert rielin. Han kanes nes oelishich. Han a hel in Gaelic gan oertichig li alabach ruegel is hele. Han Arav de Yinevich, a Kyonsech Nagalic, er Eri. Huk acht Nagalic, bui er policy en an realtis. A realtis na halaba, er take a humul re BBC alaba, get a ha cruelly hast for smacht Parliament Westminster. Hanik Roenlich er son folum Gaelic, dro acht Nagalic. Ha Arab scholarin an em folum tron Gaelic er eri. Agis ha teich gaun von realtis sho er sun scolchen Gaelic fale. Buchorar a vi tochesich munaum richach en je torag a chuntes sluig muierig. Agis bi corum elakin run ach ne Gaelic en jerstichig tro villa en orlim alaba. Mochel er an Janis a noch aun am am frechertchen don gemitte hai folischer gewel kutschte jolich in er galik gen viach nach el aun bila scho adol fata gulior ha kutscht en warl gum fem kor legel hellier 
of the own. Er fallen tron galic, nor a hairtis recent on er a horn. Homar is jurig reco. Maha fallen the galic, guvig nestehug, agis ga lietehug. Vig shaw a rare ya galien a hookshin shachet. Agus bhúchar gain a hula oir pa yeanav na galian shin a chulianag. Hamian dochis gun eist comate an olim gu kormach ra na biachken a ha er nochkeg. Agus gun bi a minister jonach gau re ahrachin se vela a yeanav kinchach gun rav artisan farantin. Er san folum galic and colianag. Can you show in town er son Jesper Munchen, ach hanaun trik a halergen gan kruachug, a gutug suichug, na galic a huchachug? Er chion hau, veri gambila uar, coram gain, buye hachkala horst, er marahashin, a kolinig amasen acht na galic. Muyerig of a carreli, hai. Emachi tang a horse gave ule, a ha and sas gu jealousach a brosnachug, a gesalesachug na garlic, gachekask, a gis geklach gignan oper lail, a gis nan korsnachgen. Many thanks. And I now call on John Finney, after which we move the closing speech from the Minister, Dr. Alistair Helm. More than tang, President Officer. How many giri tang a horse go Angus McCall? Er son upper kutumakaika. Go harach eran yert yerta show. How many kuchach a giri tang a horse na borsh na galik? Angus gach buenish night. Gach malish kol. Aha upper er son Janef galik la latcher. Haisha kam guvel shiv ula a kupper kro er son a kanen. Han jag mig fyllen till segalik, ach han mig agunser jag bara kärkla. Han monien fyllen till agus bima da djärgen eike, kär brunjen kutcher. Han ba och akam nskol är arskol galik glasaku, agus bi an mag nik akam agunser jag eka skolarik ånen donation. A torchelach marsho na snalain and Jew is marsho. Buchor gun ula a farachen, duasach, mien, anum ri chacht. Nurvami na balakormia on an inanesh, eva on bunskol gallic, onsa skier akam, she hit skol avar erme tukul hunrichi. Erson a vami na skol galic. Ang ju ha an bong skol gus na vi lawn. Niacht gleva. A barachte er sho ha mi gle tolache guvel salmo rostig ho sur vikil. Ha er a tarang tor ulnach vo imak. Duachen guna ilen skienach fara a vel a a vietchek, so er a torst imak, bunyachin gan skier. Mara ha a irtisht a rag, ha skilich de galic er a vimi fier sirvakal, hof sirvakal, gwel i a tukul kiet agus kot milad not. Ha i kietin di a blian Bliana a shacht agus haro kotrum eik an canon a has, ach an ju ha an culture ach an bio is survakal, is ha an kiol alain, is na shinaturan talentach akin, ainyo er fat an tau. Geta a veil show fior, haniela hul hul rut ma femishin baracht oper, an jena fa er rutin na a Haravin de Kusprin a haun an art scholar scholen a ha ish akam fish gafnoskal a ha fishki venister gavel 
Triplish, Lashin, Aun and Skol, Bjorla Kuchuch, Femishin, Agopar, Aun and Doi, Subulche, Klachag, Technolus, Agus, Agopar, Ri, Hali, Erson, Agianaf, Kinchach, Guvel, Koraman, Skunyal, Ekna Clown, Akin. Mission a comic air as Jake Bliena, ha es furista, eh, hiken gu guvel rutin nas here. Ach ha tar re genef has der son a kutterem, a haun er son lucht jonsag, a ha an skol fecal kutcher. Hamiagiri eh, rutiken a canton em eh, nu eh, milem canon ila, anish eh, Scots. Hami erson eh, ficlin un irit, urgi hurtas is urum aha canon Gaelic, a ficlin erson an canon Scots scrutchach. Um, ha kerskur an nesen ur, naun haun an alapa, ach buchor hum urum a torrishen eh, eh, ar echtri. Hami, hami eh, gleitolische, beken Gaelic abrunion ons a falamat arest. Eh, Famous in Cameron uh, Hamas, we uh, normalize a Brunian answer parliament um, um, tapalif erist. Thank you very much. And we now move to the closing speech from the Minister, Dr. Alistair Allen. Uh, Minister, you have seven minutes or thereby. I believe of a career, I have a Hollow Gosser Gavel Parliament, the Hollopper, a Corrach and Kenwa, Sorich to Shodge and Rachkus. A head of the Kutramuk in the Gaelic against the Gallopa. Melvin Nayok Gu Amur Thaloch, a friend of Jasper Shaw Hummel, I guess Hamishagan Yoko Kutchok and Opeth Firva, Amur Thaloch, and the Vijian of Ensignaklish Rich, a friend of Gaelic Kutchok. Hami, it be Gaishok could lose the Gach Baul, the Vibrin and Jew and St. Jasper Ancient of Shaw. A mythology of Teichke or Son of Galax and Shomer Vogach Party, Marisham Tur Marahurst Louis Taloch, Sherilus Riltus Labroch Leptemoch, Ekanaum, who act in Galax from the Parliament on the Dabilis Akoig, Agus Gajerev, Ha Madis Kanlan Kerstera, Ganhoshik and Fas on the Krulug in Galax, television in Galax, KU. Uh, for Smach uh, Riltus uh, Tori, Kujok. So I had less than this length in the Akin Opera Hukala, Gusuyu Nagalik, Achumel Shesfuch, Agis Brivor, and Haumachak. Had mean Hanin, Agis or Kanin, Dukasuch, Agis Amis Munyu with Alapish Kujok, doing a cast of Ibdimi and Alapish Kujok. Had mean Hanin, Agis or Kanin, Dukasuch, Kutramahuin Ulu. Hami kvetchen nachel farik moran gevel jech kanin duchasach idem brina ju with fuch ilan drachting agus gevel at the smunchen gevel shen ule unchalanach. Asha fata veniren agus hadunya ogach kern jena helen an sha achlechku kanin duchasach varoch idem viorle ashan kanal truch le karachen karchen loch chegesh loch opruch agus shirvishen vaploch. Get the hat on mean floor, Hanyele Yantin Nahela town. I guess had Derev or some munch on the Halapa or Khan in a lekel shahed. Had Mongostor Nula, I guess Toki at Ada Gach Alapan of Udekan. Had not Piantin as Nar Ushkik and Beha, had not Kyol as Nar Bartok, Nar Yakre, Nar Hanamanache is Nar politics, Kujok. Gajerev ha Avarasakam son un of Lenid Ichid for a Vilshin, a Farachkin, Nas U Hananoch Gachla, Gavil Baruch Koraman or Kanan Eichkin, and Kloinchen Agus Lever and Jew and Nalapa, Navaun and Lens and Biraya. Hagau and Jultu, Mar Yalamich, Je Erdulhus, Agus ha Kerstkin Bechor, or Kanan Eichkin, is a Kloinchen. So, I have a Gaelic Alpha Davils a Kog, it is a Kutramuk in the Gaelic, or from Umatagover. On Toshok, a hook, a Rechkis Green, the Breer and Kutramuk, Muspech, Kuyunan, the Shavurla, a Gis Hanuler Green Shaw, a Giahuinahuk. Hook a Innovid in the Gaelic, Marahan and Nashant in the Halapa, 
Hashakutramach de Yerevania, or Duich, Sanaum Rolov, Agus Sanaum Machark. Han the Korkan, Agus Lestin, is in the Hook and Rechkes Shard and Board, Planag Alec Nashenta, Ulhog, Agus Eri, Buyan Poploch, Planag and Gaelic, Achgehe, and Ulhog, Edevi, a Hershkutramach, a Shelton, and Teichkesirin, the Ekbehe Poploch, and Halape, the Erkan and Nashenta. A ganyan brieren a nugi erkan and the chlunyer uren un vo yaran jen meanun I guess va jin orchar pdiin meen shaw hamikthichen a planichen galik ede vi kutremoch orshan an suyichuk for a version of Jew ruyen. As soon as she the planichen shaw chavukshen ede ave guunye hakel chen nehiri shaw I guess chavuk nehiri je grievan I guess shirvishen the meen tremeen the galik. A year and Jew on the Buyan and Poplach Shaw. So the Planichinic Uteris Ninatel, Gahari, Havig, and Lu Urtis de Vion, a Hoven Teichger, the Lesserhe, a Gisfas and the Fulham Gallic Cahide. So I forget really, a Urtis Leonvor e de Vis and Teichke here, the Nagalic, a Hin Gurich, a Hov Yelling, Kulter, a Gis Fulham. So the men and the Gis Krulug Hashin Kuchok is Jurtis Echken. As in the Fechken, who serve her, Saha, MG Alpe, either via Gopruch, Lesha VBC, Han Compartica Shaw, Ed Moran, Hollyanug, and an Unia Unia Gurich, I guess, has Shaw, Ed Biarchus, a horse to Suyuch, cruel in the Halpe. Hagreven, MG Alpe, is Teichke Horst, and an economy could Jochle, Baroch get me a million nocht, Ed Horst Shachet, the company and Unital are from Ruchke Frogrammen. On the Rhine and Ulam, Han Arvind, the scholar in a Toshikur at Savunskal, it fast for three Kiet Kehet Vichet Sashir, Alma Davila Sashak, Gukog Kiet Yechet Sashir, Alma Davila Sakehet Jig. The Taik Van the Wun Halaper, Shun Skalchen Gaelic, Hunnik Shun Fulham Tremain the Gaelic, it is school, it Fugalaper, the Imuk Skal Agus Unit Gaelic, it Oskluk, no Eden Lettekuk, some Mesk Upper Fjalli, Boamor, Comer Nonalt, Tonage and Glossacher and Garriston, Gianurgeting, Inornish, Irving, Killer Yarnik, and Hope and Agus Postri. A fulum is ye kutramucht in the Hanins and now the Chark, as ye can eichen the hui in the Harvan or Shun Shesvoch at Horst the Nagalic. A canami Fachkulaga, a vac bolaga, a tockel, poinkin me in Billa and Lulam had altered in the farm which in Drast, I guess, Hame Wamsak Jonoch a hunyhuge lesh in the Boylshun. My in the point in the hack, I make my John a guest joke. I could do you some be a giri a billion lesser. I mean, Jidok Chinga Kriok, I'm just coming to a conclusion. I think I've. If you wish to take an intervention, I'll take an intervention in that case. Mary Scanlon. Yes, I am a member of the Education Committee, and I would very much welcome if the Minister would take an opportunity to explain why an entitlement to Gaelic education promised in the SNP manifesto has now become an explanation of the administrative process used for a parental request for Gaelic. Well, I will say that obviously the process is important because one of the things that's arisen over many years has been a a question as to how parents in a situation where perhaps uh, the community wishes to see a Gaelic unit but the local authority doesn't, how they pursue that. Uh, and certainly I believe that it's, it's a real step forward that we now have a bill which establishes a process, establishes evidence, and I would think in many cases that will be quite incontrovertible evidence in many cases about the demand that exists uh, for Gallic medium education within a community. But I am, as I mentioned, more than happy to meet the member uh, and to, to talk about any ideas she has for uh, improvements to the bill. I've got really Hashan Mohil given Dulichitis and Aun Hast, I guess, Hamor and the Yen of Gesheswach Gehorsk and the Gaelic and Aun the Chach. Maar we Michael Russell en graag gaan je de magelijor gewelig eigenlijk aan, vind me eigenlijk dat we het gelijk doen. Vind me systeem vol en zijn bij lok chigisch, eigenlijk gerust en gemaakt, zoals er zo'n serviet is. 
Ashen Rovochel Gavil Femakin Er Baroch Luk Chigish, Gunnar Fulham Gaelic, Hashah Hast Nadulan Roin, Muschig Letthuk Agis Amon Kutschje, Ratchen, Ashen and Suyu Agleu, Meraha and Draste. Hariotanoch Gunfe Nyachs and Pia Hash on Chigish, Gunnar Fulham Gaelic, Korum, the Fenishaw Yenov, Agis Merahash and Femish and the Shli and Trainu Elethuk. Sandersson and Hoover Shaw. A ha jealous acting cumalorn, a gopric of kutcher the boars and Gaelic, all hyen, Utheris and Ninetal, a gis buyanele, gis taiki, gis gurus and the horse to Horam and Chigish, a gahi the Ashran the Femenula Hollander. Famous in kutcher, gopric of kutcher the Kayersnoch and Gaelic, at Fiagalope, a gen of Kainchuk can be a Gaelic, the Klachku, and on Beha Lyon. Hunnik men am chayos noch kein loch glaus <laughs> negalik nach brinjik segalik the clown a ha gimus ha kuchamen ha kutermuch konfeishen a mach kashon kutermuch konfeishen a mach kashon a ha shor tachost. Of ge really here galik and Jew the whole hatch of full and galik no sculchen a gis soinichen on the station and rail gan the tuition vriel ek film G. Ha grievous <laughs> servicus aking a niche snamian and Gaelic. Or son Luch Lauer's dog in Gaelic, she soul it a yalish jahan, get the hadul in hast row in hashin it tori in the snajich blion of Gallov, against Yenisha snablionichin the chian, han ye had tor on the yen of Ushan a Gaelic marahus tor guni, a hakaramon the Jew. Ashon Ara Melanoyok on the Hulatunia of a stri against Hastri Hast or from Hamel Nakinim. Tap believe. Many thanks. And I now thank you all for taking part in this important debate, and I close this meeting of Parliament. <laughs>